Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little mini heart. This will be an absolute beginner's tutorial, so I will be going slow and showing you how to do each stitch step by step. For this pattern, I used category 4 yarn and a 3.75mm crochet hook, but feel free to use whichever hook and yarn you have. Now that's all out of the way, let's begin. To start off, we're going to go ahead and grab our yarn. I'm using this blue color and we are going to make a magic ring. To make a magic ring, you're gonna go ahead and grab the end of your yarn and your index finger and your middle finger. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab the end of the yarn and put it in front of your index finger while holding it down with your thumb, like so. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab the longer strand of yarn and wrap it around the opposite way until you have this little cross formation at the top. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab your hook and you're gonna place it through the front loop, and then you're gonna go ahead and grab the yarn in the back, pull it through the front loop, and now you have this little mini loop on your hook. Now we're gonna go ahead and chain one. To chain one, we're gonna go ahead and grab yarn and pull through the loop that's already on our hook. And now you have your magic ring. And now we are going to start making the actual stitches of our heart. So what we want to do is we want to chain three more. We already have one chain already. We're going to do three more. So wrap your yarn around your hook and pull it through the loop. Wrap your yarn around your hook like so and pull it through. Wrap your yarn around your hook, turn it around and pull it through. Now you have four chains right here attached to your magic ring. And now we're going to do a treble crochet. To do a treble crochet, we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook twice. So there's one and two. Now you have three little loops on your hook. Now you're going to go ahead and hold these three down and you're going to put your hook into this magic ring that we made. Like so. We're going to grab yarn and pull up. You have four loops on your hook now. Now you're going to go ahead and grab yarn, pull through two, now you have three loops on your hook, you're gonna grab yarn, pull through two. You have two more loops on your hook, you're gonna grab yarn and pull through the last two. Now you should have just one little loop on your hook. And we're gonna do a total of three of those, we need to do two more. So we're gonna do two more treble crochets. So wrap your yarn around your hook twice. So I have a total of three loops on my hook. You're gonna hold all three of those down and place your hook through the center loop. You're going to grab yarn and pull it back up. You have three loop, excuse me, you have four loops on your hook. Now you're going to grab yarn, pull through two. You have three loops on your hook, grab yarn, pull through two. You have two loops on your hook, grab yarn, and pull through two. Now I'm going to do that one more time. So just wrap your yarn around your hook twice, insert it through the hook, grab yarn, pull up. You have four loops on your hook, and you're just going to continue pulling through two until you have one loop on your hook. And now we're gonna go ahead and do three double crochets. So to do a double crochet, we're only gonna wrap our yarn around our hook once, like so. Insert your hook through the magic ring. Grab yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook. Grab yarn, pull through two. Grab yarn, pull through two. We're gonna do that two more times, so yarn over. Insert your hook through the magic ring. Grab yarn, pull up grab yarn, pull through two, grab yarn, pull through two. Now do that one more time. Just do a regular double crochet like so. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and chain one and we're gonna do another treble crochet. So again, treble crochet is you wrap your yarn around your hook twice, insert it through the magic ring, grab yarn, pull up. You have four loops on your hook, grab yarn, pull through two, grab yarn, pull through two, and grab yarn, pull through two. Now we're gonna go ahead and chain one again, which is just yarn over and pull through. <clears throat> and now we're just going to do um, exactly what we did here, just um, backwards and repeated. I'm just gonna pull on this small strand of yarn so I can tighten up my loop a little bit. Just makes it easier for me. So now what we're gonna do, we just chained one. We're gonna go ahead and do three double crochets. So wrap your yarn around your hook, Insert your hook through the magic ring, 
grab yarn, pull through two, grab yarn, pull through two. Now I'm going to do that two more times, yarn over, insert your hook through the magic ring, grab yarn, pull up, grab yarn, pull through two, grab yarn, pull through two. I'm going to do that one more time. So go ahead and yarn over, insert your hook through the magic ring, grab yarn, pull up, grab yarn, pull through two, and pull through two. I know I'm repeating a lot, but I just want to have, I just want to make sure that it's um, easy to follow. And now we're going to move on to our next section, which is our treble crochet. So now we're going to do three treble crochets. So wrap your yarn around your hook twice, insert your hook through the magic ring, grab yarn, pull up, you have four loops on your hook, grab yarn, pull through two, grab yarn, pull through two, and grab yarn, pull through two. That's one treble crochet. We're going to do two more. So wrap your yarn around your hook twice, insert your hook through the loop, grab yarn, pull up. You have four loops on your hook, grab yarn, pull through two, grab yarn, pull through two, and pull through two. We're going to do that one more time. And once you have your one loop on your hook, you're going to go ahead and do a chain of three. So again, to chain, you're going to yarn over and just pull through, yarn over, pull through, and one more time, yarn over, pull through. You have a chain of three. And now what you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and slip stitch it into your magic ring. So to slip stitch, what you want to do is you want to insert your hook through your magic ring. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you're going to grab yarn and you're going to pull up. And now you should see that you have two loops on your hook. And I'm doing this little tightly because that's how it's going to look a little better. So you have two loops on your hook. And you're going to take the yarn that's right there in the front that's already on your hook. You're going to take that same yarn and pull it through like so. Now you've slip stitched. And now you're going to go ahead and chain one. So yarn over and pull through and tighten it up. And now you're going to cut off like so and pull it through, tightening it up. And now you're going to want to find your other strand of yarn, which is a part of your magic ring. So this is the yarn that we just cut. So you're just going to leave that alone. You're going to find the other small strand of yarn. And when you pull on it, the center loop should tighten. So the center loop is tightening as I pull on it, like so. And there you have your heart. And now for these little strands of yarn that are hanging out, what you can do is you can either get a darning needle and sew it in, or you can just use your hook and just weave it in back and forth like so. So just go through stitches that are right next to each other and just bring it in back and forth. And then once you think that it is sewn in enough, just go ahead and snip it off and do the exact same thing with the other small strand of yarn. And once you have both strands of yarn woven in, this is how your heart should look like. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you found it useful. And if you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to see me do other beginner's tutorials, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, now that we are done, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!